Monitoring early season canola pests is such an important aspect of management at this time of year. There's a range of insect pests uh, that have actually changed uh, since we've gone over to zero till and uh, no till systems across Australia. And those pests have uh, had a dynamic effect on the crop. Some of the basic techniques that we use for monitoring, we might be using uh, pitfall traps, uh, shelter traps or bait traps uh, to uh, identify those ground dwelling uh, insects. We can use our uh, sticky traps you know, to, to monitor the, the different flying insects that would be um, transient to the crop. Uh, and we would use our basic visual test when we're looking for uh, damage. We might not be seeing the insect pests themselves, but we're looking for the symptoms and the, and the signs of, that, of those pests in the crop. For farmers and agronomists that are monitoring crops uh, on a daily or weekly basis, many of these techniques are very simple. Uh, they, they need to be set out um, probably prior to the crop uh, going into the, into the field uh, so that we have a, a knowledge of uh, what insect pests uh, and beneficials that we can expect to see when the crop emerges. visual check, we need some basic tools. I'm using a half square metre ring made of poly pipe. I'm also uh, carrying my uh, notebook and pen and using a smartphone with a macro lens uh, that can be used to take images of any damage that we might see. So visual checks of the plants. We might be looking for chewing uh, damage from some of the pests like earwigs or millipedes. We might be looking for sucking damage from some of the mites. Or if we see plants that have been nipped off, it might be an indicator that there are caterpillars or some of the false wireworm larvae that are there causing the damage. We're more likely only going to see the damage that's been caused, not necessarily the pests themselves. More likely we'd see some of the beneficials like the spiders or carabid beetles. So these are sticky traps. Uh, they're very commonly used uh, in lots of industries, horticulture uh, and broadacre cropping. Uh, they're to uh, monitor the, the flying insects that, that we see. Uh, they'll attract a whole range of different um, uh, pests and beneficials as well. We've got two different colours here. The different colours are actually attractive to different pests. We need to have these sticky traps set up at perhaps two or three locations around the farm. They are easy to set up. It's just a matter of um, attaching them to the fence line, uh, usually uh, close to the crop. Uh, and they will last probably a month or so out in the paddock. Um, uh, the sticky trap will maintain its stickiness for that uh, period. Early in the season, I guess it's giving you a, a good idea of those um, aphid pests, uh, green peach aphid that might be a risk to the early crop, but also later in the season too, uh, we can tell what aphid and beneficial uh, natural enemies uh, that are there in the crop as well. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.